Hi, I'm Sandra Jackson. I'm honored to serve as the Chief of the Military and Family Readiness Division here at the Air Force Personnel Center. I'm excited to share with you our certification program modules. The certification program is a DOD requirement and we are looking forward to showcasing our Air Force Military Family Readiness Centers. That said, we want to ensure your success as we go through the process. I want to assure you that the team here at AFPC will be there to support and assist you each step of the way. As a first step, we piloted our program with nine installations and used best practices gleaned from those visits to help shape our certification training and develop comprehensive training modules. These modules are just the beginning. As we move forward through the certification process, we will continue to share lessons learned and best practices to ensure all of our centers are postured for success. I want to thank you for all that you do to support our air and space community and look forward to presenting your center's certification in the near future. Remember, military and family readiness directly impacts mission readiness, which supports our national defense. Thank you. Hi, I'm Criselda Smith. I am the certification program manager. This is a self-paced training that consists of six modules. We encourage you to identify the phase that you are in and review as needed. In this introductory module, we will be introducing the fundamentals of the certification program. DOTI 1342-22 and the DAFI 36-3009 speak to the certification being a performance management strategy with the end goal of having standardized services. Areas of focus are elements of cost, quality assurance, effectiveness, utilization, accessibility, and customer satisfaction. Accreditation or certification. The Air Force, along with our sister services, elected to use the internal certification process where experienced AFPC MNFRC staff join the conversation at the installation level to ensure intent of standards are being met. Ultimately, the end goal is to ensure high quality standard services are offered across the Department of the Air Force. As we look to the future, it is important for you to know that we've identified three of the 24 key decisions that speak us aligning ourselves to the re-optimizing of the great power competition. Develop people, ensuring our MNFRC staff develop mission-ready airmen. By our centers being certified, baselines for standardized services will only help the development of mission-ready airmen. Generate readiness, no notice, limited notice, operational readiness assessments, and inspections. Our deliberate new timeline reflects operational readiness level that eliminates stagnation. You know as the saying goes, high achievement always takes place in the framework of high expectations. We are confident that you can deliver. Lastly, project power. Units of action. Again, as we adapt to this new concept of deliberate standardization services, we as a military and family readiness center will project our relevance and deliver support that our Air Force is demanding from us. So why standardized services? Having a baseline for services allows for our airmen, guardians, and families to feel confident on what to expect from our centers. When individuals know the service, anxiety of the unknown can be reduced. That is what we want to provide. We want our families, airmen and guardians, to know what services they can attain at any time, anywhere. Certification looks at 52 DOD program standards and 10 Air Force standards that will be evaluated during the certification process. Each program standard has been evaluated and interpreted to help you deliver standardized services. Later in our briefing, we will speak to those program checklists that will explain the expectation to you. So let's look at the certification process. It follows a linear five-phase process, but today we included the notification of selection process to this presentation as to ensure you understand the importance of all things needed for a great start. In the following modules, we will look at what each phase entails. This concludes the introduction. In the next module, you will find out what you need to know prior to getting started.